Ma'am, am I audible? Yes, ma'am, you are clearly audible. Ma'am, but I am not able to hear you out, so I am so sorry. Your voice is not coming clearly to me. Uh, am I audible to other participants? Ma'am, you are audible, but a little bit. Uh, the volume is low. Okay, so ma'am, can you uh, check at set up at? Am I audible properly, ma'am? Yes, ma'am, you are clearly audible. Okay, thank you so much, ma'am. So yes, uh, thank you so much, uh, ISM Patna, for giving me this opportunity to present my paper and my views on this very relevant, uh, relating, uh, relevant theme of the conference, which is the resilience and sustainability. So as uh, taking forward from what Dr. Lee and Singh sir has uh, laid a foundation for today's uh, discussion here. So I would uh, like you all, uh, sir and madam, to uh, have a view that, yes, this is going to be my presentation, but at the end, I would like to have a little bit of discussion and interaction with you, uh, with both of you. Okay, so starting, uh, thanking uh, Pooja ma'am also, that she has been a great support, and without her cooperation, this presentation wouldn't have been possible. And my uh, submission to the uh, to the entire conference wouldn't have been possible without the support and guidance of uh, Neera Madam. So I thank you both Neera Madam and uh, Pooja Madam for Neera. this entire uh, conference and inviting me to present my paper and letting me complete my abstract and paper on time. So, uh, starting with this gratitude note, I would like to tell you all that my paper presentation topic is sustainability, growth, and the role of green human resource management. And for this uh, topic, I have taken the case study of Infosys so that we could see what practices are there in the uh, modern technology firms and how we are leading the world forward and keeping India ahead of other countries in the technology technological advancement and technological services and consultancy so starting with uh, the sustainability growth and role of hrm green hrm i would first like you to uh, invite your attention to how we define hrm today so as we all know that uh, we all know and we are part of the human resource management field and we are the faculties. So we very much are aware of how can we define HRM. So whenever we are starting any organization, any firm, we are doing any kind of work. So I'll take the liberty of explaining all my uh, uh, slides with a little bit more discussion or more time, because I think there is enough time with me. At least I can take 15 minutes for the entire presentation. So I'm taking the liberty on that. So a uh, human resource management, as we know, is a part of organization, which is concerned with people dimension. And here we see that whenever there is an organization, it cannot be run, it cannot, we cannot think any organization without human resources. So what these human resources actually are? So this deal, uh, human resource management deals with human relations in an organization and it takes care of all the needs from the right from the recruitment to the, till the day a person retires or taking after, taking care of the retirement needs and after retirement needs of the employees. So, Apparently, human resource management, as we all know, that is a process of acquisition, development, motivation, maintenance of the human resources as in an organization. And human resource can be uh, also be defined as the combination of all the attributes, attitudes, skills, soft skill, hard skills, and each and every aspect related to a human being, which is going to contribute to the well-being of the organization for the formation and foundation of any kind of organization, whether it is for profit or whether it is for non-for-profit organizations. So taking the words of Edwin B. Flippo, human resource management, as we can define, is the planning, organizing, directing, controlling, developing, compensating, and integrating 
and taking care of the maintenance and separation need of human resources so that we could achieve the individual and organizational goals and objectives so starting with this note i would like you to take the perspective that yes we have discussed human management then we see strategic human resource management strategic human resource management taking all the human resource management processes in such a way that we could gain an advantage over our competitors so it gives us an edge over our competitors in this cutthroat competitive world so till now we have seen that taking hrm to the next level is h as hrm that is strategic human resource management now another dimension which has been added due to there must there is a much talk about csr activities and taking care of the environment and having a growth perspective but with the lens of sustainability and resilience and awareness so green human resource management first i would like you to have attention on this topic on this theme that how can human resource management can add a dimension or has evolved with a new perspective or new dimension which is green human resource management so first this term was coined by renwick dws redman t and maguire and it all started in the year 2008 when they proposed a study titled as green human resource management and it was a review process model and research agenda and it was published so according to renwick the integration of corporate environment management and concern into the human resource management practices is what we can term as green human resource management now these scholars that redman maguire and uh, renwick they all broadly specified that human resource management yes but the policies in the field of recruitment performance management appraisal training development employee relations pay and reward system all are considered as a powerful tool for aligning employees with organizational environmental strategy so when it is done we can all structure it or term it as green human resource management now again coming to the definition of the term it is set of policies practices and system that stimulate a green behavior of a company's employees in order to create environmental sensitivity among the employees and using the resources in an effective way at the workplace moving forward so what can be the primary focus or objective of green human resource management which is ghrm now the primary focus is to achieve the objective that is cost saving reduced wastage of materials corporate social responsibility and talent acquisition management and giving gaining an advantage in the competitive era so it involves a lot of whole professional cycle of any employee working in an organization and which starts with the recruitment and ends with the exit process so end to end process when it is about an employee and taken care by the human resource management with the perspective of saving cost and adding up to the corporate, uh, corporate social responsibility with the view of protecting the environment and creating awareness is what we are referring here as green human resource management so in recruitment and selection process uh, we can see that people nowadays are using online interviews and online uh, application forms and reducing the transportation cost and all during the entire selection and recruitment process another instance we can see that organization can keep a check on the green behavior in aptitude test and maintain the database of employees of those employees who are actively supporting the cause of protecting the environment then again 
Another example of green practice or green human resource management activities is that online portals can be used instead of keeping the hard copy, hard format and using of softwares for providing the training programs, providing the performance appraisal programs and designing them in such a way that there is less wastage and online portals are being used and softwares are being used so that this could influence the employee's behavior and working methods of employees as well. Okay, so starting with the introduction of this uh, entire uh, research topic. So here we are referring to green human resource management as the practice of incorporating environmental sustainability into human resource policies and practices. And here we see that uh, a lot of companies are there who are adding up to their CSR activities and in terms of practicing their human resource management process, processes. And company here uh, like Wipro, TCS, Infosys, which are the top most IT companies in India, are attempting to reduce their carbon footprint and contribute to the sustainable development, sustainable environment. And the idea of green HRM is gaining traction because of these companies. So this is the reason behind choosing a tech company for my research study. The tech companies are, have become very much aware and the employee, they have made aware their employees as well to value the state sustainable practices and they have also inculcated the behavior in their employees that how they can benefit, how the entire client, uh, clientele of uh, the companies can benefit and environment in totality could be safe. Now these businesses are lessening their environmental effect by supporting eco friendly workplace programs, green commuting, energy efficient technologies by using green HRM practices. So green HRM also entails developing a work culture. So it does not only means that there are policies and practices only, and it is all on paper, but it is more about inculcating such a work culture which supports sustainable behaviors and motivate staff or employees also to use this uh, every activity directed towards reduction of wastage, reduction of energy usage. For instance, these businesses promote employee involvement in recycling campaigns, trash reduction initiative, tree planting initiatives, and in general, these green HRM practices at each companies like the Pro, TCS, Infosys, etc., and other promoting sustainable work culture, as we have already talked about. So lowering their car carbon footprint and contributing to the sustainable environment is the main focus of these companies nowadays and they're contributing to the sustainable development in this way. So taking the background of the entire research study which I have conducted, now employees benefits, employees handbooks, standard operating procedures and workplace regulation are within the purview of human resources. This we already know. Now we have seen that what if the director of sustainability and human resource collaborated to create sustainability initiative for the staff retention and work-life balance? So what would be the possible scenario? Now, with this perspective, employees as well as the directors or the uh, top level management can both hand in hand succeed towards the achievement of main goal, which is green HR approach. And in this way, they can retain talent and lower the individual employees carbon footprints. So the environment and climate change are causing more employees to become worried and create an awareness within the company because they are the internal customers. And if they are much aware about their practices, with, about their policies, with, with, uh, and their benefits, they can also reflect this in the company's overall image and it will enhance the goodwill. It will create an image of the company in the outside world as well. 
Now, these HR, green HR is viewed by HR department as a cutting edge strategy for recreating top employees. So today, if the employee is there and they are efficient and they are very competitive, but they will not be termed as competent enough if they are not about, aware about all the practices that a company is has implemented for the overall green initiative or contributing to the CSR activities of the company. So companies here must continue to take initiatives and invent more ways, more output towards inculcating the habits of green activities in their employees. So we need to hire or these companies need to hire talented individuals who are well-informed, experienced professionals. And as these employees are very hard to retain, very uh, difficult to maintain, we can implement various programs, which I'll be suggesting in the later part of the paper to maintain the organization's achieved uh, goals and objectives maintained. So looking out at the perspective of green human resource management, it, is the part, it can be part or it is the part of overall corporate social responsibility. So if we consider corporate social responsibility as the set green human resource activity or GHRM activity, processes can be called as a subset of the CSR corporate social responsibility set. So the word responsibility, if we see, what does it mean? It means to pledge back. And it is the basic term which the notion of CSR is based entirely. So therefore, the business should act in a way that can benefit the society, the society and be accountable for its action that they will be impacting the society. Okay, so how this green HRM has evolved? It has evolved from the concept or the parent concept, which is corporate social responsibility. Now, again, see how can we more elaborate on green human resource management. So it aims to make sure that the entire human resource process as I have already discussed in the past slides, that from entry, that is recruitment, to the exit, which is re resignation of an employee or retirement of an employee, is done in a green way. And ultimately contributing to the performance and environment that is more sustainable. Yes, the corporation is holding itself accountable for general welfare of the society. So here we can see that Wipro and Infosys and TCS and companies like these or other companies as well, they are taking this responsibility and holding themselves accountable for general welfare of the state, that is the society, as well as taking care of the environment. Okay, so the term GHRM, if referred again, is a paradigm that integrates performance management human resource management and environmental management. So it, is, so it is the incorporation, integration, or synchronization of everything which is related to the employee and the environment. So whether it is recruitment selection, whether it is performance management, or taking the human resource management entirely, when put into sync, or integration with the environmental management and the CSR activities, we can refer it to green human resource management as well. So this might be seen as a company's competitive edge in the long run. So this is due to the contention that improved environmental performances might result in improved economic performances as well, because it will reflect in the performance of the employees leading to the performance enhancement in the company's entire profitability and wealth maximization objective, and then reflecting it to the well-being of the society and protection of the environment. So it is green human resource management does not only talks about only 
contribute to the uh, CSR activity or environmental sustainability, but it also inculcates or works from the grassroots level or the scratch level in an organization. So it is the employees upon whom the success or success of green human resource management develop, depends and develops. And it further gives rise to the concept of EGD. Now, as sir has talked that the education system is of no importance or it won't be successful as we are not inculcating the habits or the change in culture on the pattern of our habits when we are students or when we are referring to our students to whom we are teaching. So I totally agree, and sir, and okay. taking that concept forward, here I'm suggesting that this can be done at the organizational level as well. When we are trying to inculcate the economic or ecological habit of our employees. So the referring here, we are referring here to the term, which is EGB, employee green behavior. So it is the individual employee's behavior that contributes to sustainability and growth in the organizational context. So no matter how much we talk about green revolution, environmental protection, sustainability and CSR activity and ESG, it won't matter at all if the employees are not responsive or the organization does not inculcate a work culture where this is where there is the concept of employee green behavior leading to green human resource management and leading again towards the sustainable development and resilience. Now, as we have already uh, seen and discussed about the introductory part and the background of the study, I would like you to pay attention to the objective of the study. Here in this research paper, I have tried to bring forward the concept which has been laid in the year 2008, which is green human resource management. Yes, there's a lot of literature and there are studies supporting green human resource management in Asian countries. But, but here in India, there is a lack of literature which I have viewed during my research review, literature review. So the First objective or you know, the major objective of my study is to study the concept of green human resource management. Moving forward to the emphasis on employee green behavior. And finally, and majorly, my study is focused towards analyzing the green human resource practices at Infosys, which I've taken as an example or a case study for making this uh, a, a study, green human resource management study, more emphatic and more relevant towards today's scenario. So how can other companies, how can other sectors and firms operating in other sectors could learn from these tech companies which are operating in India? So tech firms towards sustainability in the organization. So to analyze the green practices, green human resource practices, in an organization is another objective of my study. Now for these, uh, the study I've taken, I'm still working on this entire uh, research uh, paper. And the hypothesis of my study is first set of hypotheses such as that green human resource practices have not been adopted by top three tech companies or top tech companies like Infosys. Another set of objectives uh, I have suggested and I have assumed that com companies that adopt green human resource practices are more likely to attract and retain environmentally conscious employees. So for, for this, I have taken both primary and secondary data. And further, I'll be doing the entire study on a number of employees and the sample size is 125 employees for from Infosys and further more employees from Bipro and TCS as well, which are Indian tech companies.
So what I've seen through my case study that yes, uh, to give a glimpse of what Infosys stands for. So it is Infosystems, which has been uh, abbreviated or uh, molded as Infosys. So it was established in 1981 and Infosys, we should proudly men, uh, say that it is one of the leading uh, global consulting and IT services company, which is listed in NYSE, New York State, the New York uh, Exchange, Stock Exchange. Currently, it has more than 343,000 uh, employees working in the firm. And if we see the growth that they have seen, it, it has risen from the capital of US dollars of merely 250 to US billion in 18.21 US dollars billion, which is uh, according to the financial year 23 revenue. Company with market capitalization of approximately 72.35 billion US dollars. So we can see the growth it has from 1981 to 2023. So it is all because of its goodwill, its practices towards environmental protection and their CSR activities and taking accountability for holding such practices which will contribute to the environmental protection and sustainability. So whether it is green marketing, whether it is green human resource management, Infosys is working in all the facets, at all the fronts. So in their journey of over 40 years, they have capitalized and catalyzed some of the major changes that have led to the India's emergence as a global destination for software services as we are known and the talent as well. So Infosys pioneered the global delivery model and have become the first IT company from India to be also listed on NASDAQ. The company's employee stake uh, stock option program is also there. And we can very proudly say that it has created some of the first salaried millionaires. Now, moving forward, talk, talking about the green practices of Infosys. Yes, it is a leading global consultancy firm and IT service company. Infosys is committed to promoting sustainable practices throughout its operation include, and including its human resource management as well. So it has implemented various green HR practices to reduce its carbon footprint and promote environmental sustainability. One of the primary uh, green initiative in HR practices by Infosys is virtual collaboration. As we can see that uh, today we uh, the example cannot be left that ISM has conducted this international conference and without any participants leaving carbon footprints. So this is also a very nice example that ISM has taken that we do not, we are not using any kind of uh, energy resources which will deplete the environment or cause environmental degradation and we are practicing in a green way. So this could not have been a best possible way when we are discussing all these topics on a platform and connecting to each other without causing any harm to the environment. So in the same manner, virtual collaboration is also one of the top most practices, major practices, which enforces another leading uh, organization in the IT sector have followed. Now meaning thereby, it is reducing the need for employees to travel to attend any kind of meeting or conferences. For this, they use wide range of technologies such as video conferencing, webinars, online collaboration tools, like we are using Zoom platform to collaborate and work on this topic, discuss on this topic. In the same manner, the companies are also using and connecting to the world a global workforce. In this way, they are trying to minimize the environmental impact of travel and reduce the company's carbon footprint along with employees' carbon footprints, individual employees. So every bit of 
a step counts a lot when it comes to environment protection and sustainability another thing which infosys and other leading companies have incorporated is paperless operations as i have witnessed that whenever i have interacted with people of ism they have not forced me to uh, send any kind of document in a hard copy format they have always tried to uh, facilitate me through the online process like whether if it is about uh, joining the program joining the conferences webinars or the workshops in a virtual mode but also when i am trying to uh, uh, enroll myself like filling up the forms and uh, presenting the paper submitting my abstract or the paper so everything is done on an online basis and in a very seamless manner so paperless operations are being practiced by ism as well so we cannot say that it is only the leading uh, uh, companies tech companies that are that that they have evolved but also institutions like ism cnlu and other universities are contributing to the very good cause which is protection of the environment and sustainable growth for our next generations so paperless operations the company has implemented several initiatives to reduce paper usage including a uh, digital record keeping e invoicing and digital signature systems so in this way they are contributing to the ssr activity and inculcating the green human resource management practices in their organization moving forward to uh, some of the more or additional advantages that they are having over their competitors or over the other companies of different sectors that it has encouraged their employees to reduce paper wastage or paper usage by implementing print on demand policy which requires their employees to think twice before printing their documents so the further reduction of its carbon footprints enforces and implemented a wide range of energy saving measures in its offices such as green efficient lighting cooling system their buildings are also being structured in such a way that they are using solar energy and using the water renewable water sources harvesting of rain water is also being done by them so these are the various techniques and innovations through which energy efficient lighting and cooling system has been installed in the office or campuses of infosys and use of renewable energy sources is also being done by them so the company has also implemented the waste management program that aims to minimize the amount of waste generated by its operations and promote recycling and composting which should be done by the universities as well which has not been incorporated at senior eu till now which we have been suggesting and it will be done in a few months or a year and i'm sure about it different universities should take initiative in this aspect also like minimization of waste wastage uh, generated by its operation promoting recycling of the uh, e waste and different waste and composting another step taken forward in this regard by infosys that their employee engagement initiatives are also very much green in nature so the company has launched several programs to encourage employees to adopt environmentally sustainable practices in their personal lives including community tree planting initiative recycling drives energy saving campaigns and they have also implemented car pooling services like employees if they are staying in the same locality they can pool the car and come to the office and not come to the office with their individual cars which can promote again the usage of battery cars or electric cars for that matter so they have implemented these type of programs now another uh, initiative that they have also taken and it is also there in google and apple inc 
we have seen that they have started using the bicycle so if they have to commute in the office area or the food, entire premises of the organization they are using e cycle e bikes rather than using their cars or other um, uh, commute uh, transportation commute or transportation methods so now as i've seen uh, we have seen that in post as implemented but as per the various other uh, research gap that i have found i would like to make certain suggestions before the house that what other companies can do and what how can these green hrm practices can be implemented at the grassroots level at e at each of the university each of the msmes as well and not only by the tech firms or leading companies only so here suggest few suggestions are being made from my side as a researcher as a management practitioner so the first suggestion from my side to the companies and to the other or not for profit organizations are firstly to create a green hrm policy at the organization in this manner in this context what companies or organization or institutes can do they can create a policy outline of outlining the organization dedication to the environment sustainability the activities and behavior that are required from the employees and the methods for adopting green hrm practices so these policies should not only be on papers or on the uh, organization website but this should be in the practice also by each and every employee by each and every part of the organization another suggestion there would be that conduct an environmental audit so to determine that whether the business operations are green in nature or not and they are having a greatest environmental impact and environmental audit is also very necessary like we are been doing the financial audit the hr audit the csr audit so in the same manner environmental audit should also be in practice and not just a topic to be talked about at these kind of platforms so this audit will assess the businesses in determining whether they are having a concrete a concentrated sustainability efforts or not now another um, uh, suggestion from my side is introduce sustainable transportation options so to lessen the carbon footprints of commuting we organization can suggest their employees to use sustainable transportation methods like public transports bicycles carpooling etc yes which which can be a difficult in the first instance but with the practice uh, by the time it gets into practice people will get habituated for that now another suggestion is that we should encourage our staff at the organization to adopt sustainable work practices by promoting them such as using less paper shutting off electronics when not in use buying energy efficient appliances these and employee should not only be encouraged but their efforts towards these practices should be recognized as well now creating green training initiatives as hr suggests that there should be various um, training programs and development programs are there and we have to retain the talent we have to uh, uh, develop the talent and provide them skills as well from time to time now these skill impartment shall also involve green training initiatives as well create training courses for staff members or employees that emphasize on environmental preservation and businesses green human resource management practices so that it is not only on paper or practice or in policies but it is actually implemented with the help of employees also so these training courses may cover such subjects or topics like energy conservation waste reduction 
sustainable business practices. Reduce, reduce, reducing and having the activities which will help them to reduce the usage of papers. Now, implementation of a method to track company's progress towards attaining its sustainability object can be another way in which we can practice clean human resource management. Now, another suggestion is that measure and monitor success. Without measurement, without evaluation, we cannot say that the progress has been made. So there should be a proper system which will assist the business in such a way that they could monitor their performances and, I, and identify those areas where there can be an improvement or necessary arrangements or counter practices or steps to be taken so that people could know that where are they going wrong and taking practices which are not very much environment friendly or sustainable friendly. Now, another way after the monitoring, after the measurement of their activities or environmental um, no, steps taken by them, we can also develop a mechanism for praising and rewarding those staff, as I've already mentioned in the last slide, that employees should be rewarded for their equal logical conscious manners. Like switching off the lights, so small efforts taken by them should be appreciated so that the employees could be encouraged in, in inculcating those habits which can lead to sustainable growth and development of the organization. So it is not just should be in the app, it is also, it should also reflect fr from the way they think, from where the ethics come into play and the way they behave, they think. Every should thing should be green in the context. So recognize and reward green behavior, bonuses and promotions or other rewards may also be used to, to show appreciation to the employees for their efforts towards protection of the environment and contribution to the CSR. Join forces with the environmental organization to advance environmental sustainability and to gain access to their resource and knowledge. Now, Keto or then Isha Foundation, lately I have also contributed to that, to those organizations. So organizations should, the Namami Gange project is there. So environmental organization and protection organizations are there. But yes, organizations who are only contributing to the CSR activities and in protecting their environment and uh, taking sustainable steps should collaborate with those kind of organization which I have already mentioned now <coughs> to gain access to the resource and knowledge and create awareness in the society. Another suggestion is that to encourage employees in participating in community environment projects, encourage them to make take part in the neighborhood environmental projects, including tree planting, recycling campaign, environment, clean dry uh, drives, which are there in the society or the neighborhood. If there are such programs, they should contribute in that also, so that it creates some awareness and spread the idea to the other people who are not that aware or socially responsible or environmental responsible to guarantee that companies green HRM practices are current and efficient and in line with most recent sustainability trend and practices, it is more important to continuously examine them and update them and come up with the more ideas and initiatives or innovations which could help the organization in practicing green human resource management. So with these suggestions, I conclude my presentation here and my research paper. And I'm, again, I'm thankful to my audience, to my listeners, and to my dear participants, fellow participants, which is, uh, I see the name here, Pooja Dube, ma'am, Dian Sir, and I think Nishat Kamar is also there. So I hope I have made my point very clear with this research paper. And definitely it will be a, a 
a nice work from my side and contribute to the uh, social behavior and responsible behavior and being a civil uh, person i try to inculcate the behaviors which i am professing here and not only on the uh, this entire presentation but in my life also so thank you so much i hope i have made my point clear and i would like to ask any question or any query or suggest me if i am wrong so pardon me if i have done any mistakes and please suggest me any kind of changes that you think of so thank you all and have a great day ahead thank you very much ma'am and uh, very important topic and we have well received your presentation i hope i am audible to you and that's great uh, if any question is there so as you have quoted earlier like in the at the end you wish uh, to interact with me and dn sir so i hope dn sir is there yes ma'am so there was one thing uh, kriti ma'am have quoted that at the end she wants and yes sir dn sir i am uh, i'm not connected to you personally professionally but i am very glad that i have met you during this presentation and there are few members so we can interact sir so how do you like my idea nice very nice ma'am and it should be thank followed you. thank you so much sir because i am the ardent follower of environment as a linguist i am a linguist from jnu but i am uh, i have been teaching here for years okay in jnu i was okay sir sorry sir i have not introduced myself i forgot to do that i am uh, dr kirti from chanakya national law university here i am acting as a assistant professor and i am also head of the internship committee here so this is my brief introduction i have done thank my you, uh, you, phd from patna university and uh, yes. from women's college and anand mishra i have done my masters and graduation so this is my brief introduction and it is very nice to meet you sir in this presentation and this conference thank you ma'am thank you thank you very thank nice you, to meet you thank you